MG, Bridgeport, Connecticut, spoken word artist, painter, actor, model. Mostly poetry and spoken word. People know me for most of my performances, slams, features, a lot of stuff. I usually just go straight from the heart, try to be as true as possible. You know, honesty is the best policy in anything, so just want to keep that, keep everything honest, you know? That's funny, what attracted me to the slam scene is just, it was all new to me at first. It was just straight up, I wanted to get better at writing. So I just hit a lot of open mics and I always told people, please give me feedback, criticism and stuff. And I started, I started hearing about slam. So I was like, all right, what's that about? And then once I saw what a slam was, I wasn't ready at first, but what, what attracted me was just the competition and it, it forces you to write harder. It forces you to just come from, you know, come from a different part of your your, your creativity that you didn't know existed at first. And I, I was really interested in that at first. And now it's just, you know, I like that aspect. So I, I've taken that to, you know, try and push all of my writing to be just as creative. People who inspire me, <laughs> I don't think you got enough film for that. Um, Queen Goddess, Mahogany Brown, Jive Poetic, Jamal St. John, Conscious, Jazz E, Buddha Love Jones, Phoenix, Face, Qualo, Yasad, uh, AKA Frederick Douglass, and Goma Hill. Uh, Ball Bidon, Rudy Francisco, Saul Williams, Sonia Sanchez, the list goes on and on. What's that? I don't know if you know. He was just like, his feed on his phone is a killer. That's like, but you really saw my story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last time I heard it, I was like, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. <laughs> Shot by neighborhood watchman. The old man. Oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I got excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel yeah. good. Yeah, that be serious, man. Thank you. Nyo pa bong fa soi kuno he kuno tan chai de di mo min guan kop chai la la nyo pa bong fa. I pray that my son won't get shot by a neighborhood watchman. I pray for those that are struggling, trying to make ends meet to feed their children. I pray to end world hunger. I pray for that girl that thought education was the key to success, but didn't know that she had to get undressed in the process because stripping was the only option to pay for tuition. I pray that the economic warfare gets resolved. The rich are getting richer and the poor are dying every second. I pray for that 60 year old man that just got robbed and beaten last night for pack of cigarettes and five dollars i pray for that six <laughs> buddha love jones i'm a poet a dj an artist an actor an entrepreneur i wonder 
How many times did God have to die to become immortal? If he made man in his image, then atheists are the residual existence of the times he didn't believe in himself. If God is our favorite artist, then why do we praise this Napster Bible written by Sean Parker prophets? I believe that man never lost sight in you. You were just lost in thought. We've been swimming in your consciousness, caught in your riptide of second guessing, shipwrecked in the wave of your creator. But you didn't believe, so we pray godly. You bless human. I never knew how to pray proper. There's no etiquette in pleading for relief in my belief. FEMA don't pay the pulpit. No helicopters dropping in to pluck me from my plight. I see you rolling head cracks on Haitian fault lines, dressed in designer forgiveness, offering your shirt, your belt, your shoes. Ain't no national guard guarding gaudy blessings. It's just you. Do you realize I am the residual existence trapped in a life sentence that wouldn't subsist if you didn't believe? You must believe, because I believe in you. I believe. Ultrasonic microfiber organisms playing hopscotch on your G-spot's red button, and I didn't even get to the tongue game. Five minutes, what we'll have you convulsing like an epileptic at a stroke like convention? Seven minutes in heaven, it was like the reenactment of Genesis. Moses ain't got shit on this, cause when I touch the right side of your bottom, it'll cause a tidal wave and separate your cheeks like the Red Sea. <laughs> Egyptian crypt walking while Brooklyn battling in your temple. Fuck dust and cobwebs. I'm ripping mummy wrappings off that motherfucker tonight. <laughs> you learn why little men walk tall with big sticks. She has five foot seven and six inch heels and thick. Move like a stallion in that stance. You can have Paul Bunyan in your shoes, baby. So I got John Henry in my pants. Oh my God. <laughs> so, the next time you're under your sheets giggling or waving on your knees, laughing to your new addiction, think of this before you get to giggling and snirking. No matter how small the box, big things always come in small packages. <laughs> The chord that strikes me with a lot of his pieces is that it's very passionate and the emotional stricken pieces really catches me and it's real, it's the truth. His metaphors, um, his metaphors are deep. Um, my son researches his metaphors. <laughs> I mean, the boy can put a metaphor to work for five fifty an hour if he wanted to. <laughs> Um, it's inspiring too. A lot of it's uplifting, you know. Tells about who he is, where he's been, you know. Um, it's my boy. What can I say?
course I do. I believe. I believe. Do you believe? I believe. <laughs> do you believe? Yeah. I believe. Yeah. <laughs>